From the length of your dress to how much to spend on a gift, questions that will keep you, no doubt, awake at night. Attending a wedding raises many complicated questions. Melanie Ng is here now to help improve your wedding etiquette. Wedding season is here. Brides and grooms getting ready to say their I do's and express their love and devotion until a guest does this. I had a buddy that I work with who screamed and hollered during our, our first dance with my wife. As a guest at a wedding, there are do's and don'ts, and I'm going to take you through all of it. I'm calling this segment Wedikit, and for the answers, we're going to the pro, Melissa Andre. Melissa has had her hand in several high-profile weddings, including baseball legend Roberto Alomar's. As soon as you're planning your own wedding, then you become like the, the world's best wedding guest because you know everything that everyone did to you that you don't want to do to anyone else. And it all starts with the RSVP. If you or your family member or significant other are invited, the invitation will say so. You certainly shouldn't be presumptuous and call the bride and groom and ask them, so do you think I could bring this person? When it comes to dress code, here's a common mistake. Just too casual? And ladies, maybe consider bringing out that ruler for your dress. I would say to the knee. You know, so to be safe, um, because it's a little bit more formal. Also, this rule still applies. I would not wear white to a wedding. No, would you wear white to a wedding? Definitely not. I think there's so many other colors you can wear, and so many other days that you can wear white. Have you ever showed a blade to a wedding? Yes. And that is a big no-no. Everybody looks to the back of the church, and um, like, I guess they take the attention away from the person who's supposed to actually have it. If an invitation is inviting you for 5 p.m., you should get there before 5 p.m. So 5 p.m. would be the ceremony time, not necessarily the guest arrival time. If the couple's waiting for guests before starting, that could set back the entire day. Finally, the cash gift. You have to pay for your plate plus more. The answer it depends on how close you are to the couple, maybe what they gifted you. Just remember that when you got married, the uh, the price per head is probably very different than it is now. One final tip, be careful how much you have to drink. You don't want to be that guy or that girl. Melanie Yang, City News.